Today, we're going to automate scripts to test our smart contracts. As we all know at this point, smart contracts are immutable on a blockchain. We need to make sure our code works as expected the very first time we deploy it. Uh, so there are many different types of testing in computer programming. Today, what we're going to be talking about um, is we're going to be utilizing unit testing for our smart contracts. Uh, Truffle builds on top of uh, what's called the Mocha testing framework and Chai for what are called assert assertions, which we'll get into. Uh, and Truffle makes all this very easy, and it's really built right in. So if you've done any kind of unit testing before, this should all look very familiar to you. If you've never done unit testing, don't worry. Um, I'll explain as we go along what's happening. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So using the Truffle framework and these unit testing libraries we discussed um, actually makes this really, really simple. So any tests we write need to go in this test subdirectory, um, and they'll automatically be recognized by Truffle. As a reminder, this video is part of a series. Um, if this file structure does not look familiar to you, uh, go back and check out some of the early videos, and I'll link to them here. First thing we do is create a new file. Um, we'll just call it, the name is somewhat arbitrary, but we'll call it planettoken.js. The first thing you'll see is we're importing, importing our planet token, which we defined in an earlier video here. It's the token contract we'll be deploying, the ER721 token. Um, so we're pulling that in here, and we're running this contract function. This is just a special function name in Truffle that has to do with tests and things. This obviously isn't a native JavaScript function. But we're just giving the suite of tests a name here. This could be anything. Um, it could be a string of text or whatever. Um, we're just saying planet token. And then here initially, we're doing some of the setup that we would normally do to interact with that contract, giving it the proper name, um, setting up a few test accounts that will then interact with the contract. And then here, we're finally defining a very simple test. Again, this it is a special testing function that's built right into this whole platform. Uh, so you don't have to install it separately or anything like that, or import it even, or anything like that. So we're saying it, and then we name the test, and you'll see where this comes into play here in a moment. So it should be able to deploy and mint ER721 token. Um, as above, this string here can really be anything. That's just for the humans that are looking at it. So the test is we create a new instance of the planet token, and then we mint one of these ER721 tokens, um, assign it to assign it to account one, which we set up up here. This is one of our test accounts. And then we call these expect functions. Like I said, this is just a very simple example to show you how tests work. So we expect the symbol of the deployed token, the deployed contract, to be what we defined above. And the same thing with the name of the contract. What this expect function does is if we don't get what we expected here, it will return false and this test will fail. So once again, this is just a very simple kind of hello world in the world of unit testing. But moving forward with these contracts, we're gonna write tests for everything as we go. So let's see how we actually use this. Um, once again, uh, if you're using Ganache and you have Ganache up and running, just double and triple t check this port every time. Um, I'm just in the habit of checking checking it every time before I do any command line truffle stuff uh, because that one time you miss checking it, you get weird connection errors and you can't figure out why and eventually realize the port, but it, you lose like five minutes. Whereas if you just check it every time, you don't run into those small problems. So we're running on port 7545. Yes, the truffle config is set up to port 7545. So let's jump into the command line terminal and let's see what we've got. So we're in our, our root of our at the universe project here, and it couldn't be any simpler. We just run truffle test, and it automatically picks up that new file we created in the test directory. It knows exactly where to look for it. Um, it connects to our development network we've got running locally, uh, compiles all the contracts, deploys them. Uh, this text here is actually coming from what we put here. So whatever you put there is what shows up there. Um, we have one test, should be able to deploy and mint ERC721 token. Uh, if you care, it took a quarter of a second to execute and it passed. So that's the gist of it. Um, 
Kind of a general rule of thumb with these tests is if you already have a large body of code, kind of the industry consensus is it's a huge pain in the butt to go back and try to write tests for all your code. Um, you should just commit to going forward, writing tests for any new functionality. And then, you know, eventually over time, you're going to end up refactoring your entire code base in any project eventually given enough time. And at that point, you should write unit tests. But hopefully you can see how these unit tests can be important. You can catch errors and um, bugs before your contracts actually get deployed into the real world. And in all the future videos, we're going to be utilizing these things as we write our code. Uh, so just wanted to show a quick example of what these things are and how they're used. All right. Thanks for watching.